Hi everyone, my name is Emily and I'm the Program Manager for the National Student Data Corps. Welcome to the NSDC Data Science Flashcard video series. In this video, we'll be talking about measures of central tendencies. A measure of central tendency is a single value that represents the entire data and summarizes it to give us some initial insights. There are three main measures of central tendency, the mean, the median, and the mode. The mean, or the average of the data, can be calculated by dividing the sum of all data points by the number of data points. It gives us an idea about the average value of the data. However, the mean is sensitive to outliers and may not always accurately represent the data. The median is the second measure of central tendency. It is the middle data point when you arrange all of your data points in ascending order. For an even number of data points, you can find the median by taking the average of the two middle data points. Unlike the mean, the median is not affected by outliers and is typically a good representative for skewed data. The third measure of central tendency is the mode, which is the most frequently occurring value in the data set. A data set may not have a mode in the case of all unique values, it can be unimodal, bimodal, or multimodal, depending on the number of highest occurring values in the data set. Different types of data can be summarized by using different measures of central tendency. For nominal data, the mode is the best measure of central tendency. For ordinal data, or skewed interval and ratio data, the median should be used, while for non-skewed interval or ratio data, the mean is typically better. Let's dive into an example. Let's consider the following data points arranged in ascending order. By adding up our data points and dividing by our sample size, we can calculate that the mean of this data set is five. The median, also known as the middle number when the data points are arranged in ascending order, happens to also be five. And the mode is seven because it occurs three times in the entire data set. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow along with the rest of the NSDC Data Science Flashcard series to learn more.